which is a bit of a, a, a whole one. I really hope this is recording. Um, so void. Oops, let me just scroll up here so I can get access to my function. There. Come on. There we go. All right, so void. Trigger bot. Okay. Just going to drink. So you want to go void trigger bot. Um, which is fine. Just call that. Close that there. No problem. Um, and we want to go a couple of things that I'll explain as we're doing it. We want to go if b shot now. So if you haven't just shot, what we, all we're doing is uh, if we've just shot, we disable that. Um, that um, if you if you remember, we set it to uh, four means four means that it, it's a minus attack. Five is a plus attack. So if a plus attack has just happened, we're going to call a minus, so we can do a plus again. Okay. So f process. So we're writing to memory here, and this is what will get you into trouble with VAC. So please do not use this online because you will get banned almost 100%. Um, but um, you know. All right. So int pointer f process dot dword client plus dw attack. So what we're writing here is we're saying use the, use the dw attack offset and write to that. So we're writing the number four to it dw attack, and then the number four comes in when we do and I don't shoot. All right, so don't shoot. Uh, size of it's only an integer, so int and null at the end or zero, it doesn't really matter. So if we've just shot last time, disable. So disable shot, disable attack. Um, and then we say if we're, we're doing a couple of checks now to make sure things are as we want because we don't want to shoot at things like team players, etc., and that's what we're checking for now. So if my player cross their identity equals equals zero, return. Just leave this function. Why? Because we're aiming at nothing. We're aiming at our wall, anything like that, and we don't want to be comparing the array when it comes to the wall, uh, etc. So return. Okay. If player list. Yep, my player. My player. Now this is a bit of fancy um, looping here and getting the right. Thing. So minus one. And I'll tell you why in a second we're doing minus one. Dot team equals equals my player team. What do we do? We return. Why? Because we do not want to shoot at our enemy, at our friendlies. Sorry. So what we're doing is we're doing minus one. Why? Because um, what we're doing is uh, the enemies, the crosshair entity ID starts from one. It doesn't start from zero like our normal array. So what have I done wrong here? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I think I put that wrong there. Shouldn't that be there? Yeah, should. And that should be size of, not size. Um, my bad. So what we're doing here is we're saying, like I said to you guys earlier, crosshair entity ID starts from one. So the enemy start from. So enemy one is technically enemy zero on the array, and so on. So basically, um, if we get one, we're looking for the uh, the zero in the array. So that's why we do minus one there. Um, and then the final check that we do is we say if uh, my player dot did something on that dot uh, if my player dot crosshair entity ID is greater than the number of players of players we return why do we return because um, we're saying because barrels and everything there is uh, an actual entity in the game counts. We're saying if you're aiming at a barrel, you don't really want to shoot at it because you're most likely going to um, screw your array up because you're going to um, you're going to be checking for an element that is not there. So again, it, it's basically saying if this is greater than um, playlist length, that's really what it's doing. Except the playlist is limited at 32, so that won't work too well. But what it's doing is don't check above the number of players that we have. It's just not necessary, and it makes our life easier. It simply means that you're looking at a barrel if it made it this far or, or anything else that moves in the map. And our final check, let's just write this bit because this is very close to similar. So hopefully, so don't disable but attack. So that's the one that we're looking for. 
make sure I don't make mistakes here. So all we're doing is we're setting that. We're saying, oh, we've just shot. And then we say, be shot now equals not be shot now. So we're saying it equals, it. you know, oops. Yeah, that's it. So we're saying it equals the opposite of whatever it equals. So in this example, it equals that. So it's the same as saying equals false in this example because it will always set it to false. So it's saying I've just shot. Okay, so that we can disable it when it comes back up here. So what we set here, we say, and instead of setting to I don't shoot, we set I shoot. Great stuff. So I shoot, and then size obviously an integer as well. Brilliant. So what we've done now is pretty much all the code. Now, uh, this is great stuff, but we need to make sure that it works. So hopefully, check my notes, make sure I don't fucking screw anything up. Yep. All right, that's, that seems half decent, but... We haven't got any errors because we fixed them all as we were doing it. So let's run Counter-Strike and hopefully this will work. Alright. Run the hack. Click on uh, the old play button here at the top. And we have errors which are not good at all. And I think that is why I changed something last time because I was getting this error as well. Fuck my life. Um, we're going to have to change something quickly. Uh, do, 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 do. See if I can remember what I changed. I'm gonna load my bunny hop hack tutorial quickly because I had it changed for that. Okay, so sorry about this. You guys will probably be getting the error as well. Um, so it will be a very quick and easy fix, so don't worry about that. Let's see how it process. Next turn, see how it process, how it process. So, what we need to do, we need to clear something here at the top. We want to go. C hack process F process and this will probably give us a ton of errors which is fine because we're gonna take care of it now so now we think that we fixed the problem but we haven't because we're gonna get more errors oh that's running oh hopefully that's okay then um, we'll, ch we'll test it out and see how it goes so we want to go create server and my recommendation for you is to yeah change this to bots join random um, and let's set it to something like five enemies or five players, I guess. And first thing we want to do is we want to stop the bot straight away so that we can do our testing. So just join any team, we don't care. So SV cheats one and bot stop one. Okay, so stop all our bots. So first thing we want to check is here we are at the trigger bot and we're aiming at an enemy, a uh, friendly, sorry. So, so far it's behaving as we want to and it's not shooting at them, which is good, but I mean, that doesn't really mean anything. So we're gonna go up to the enemies and hopefully this will work. So right now it's running, no crashes, it's always a good sign when it doesn't crash straight away. I'm gonna go up to the enemies and we're aiming and no bueno. Should be shooting, it's fucking not. So, um, something maybe going wrong here so we're going to find out what we did wrong if anything so stop running that uh, we got C base entity one thing that may still be necessary is within the so if I look at our hack process dot h here uh, extern blah blah yeah that seems fine all that seems fine uh, I've done anything wrong there so let's go back to our main code. Uh, we're going to do some debugging just to make sure everything's good to go. Um, debugging is always a, an essential part of this. It's just life, I guess, when you're doing hacking or any other coding. All right, so we it found it finds the game fine. It bypasses that. We're happy about that bit. Uh, it gets into the loop and it runs the trigger bot. It might play it might play that read information. So what we're going to do is going to call a breakpoint there. So we're gonna, let's run this. And there's our breakpoint hit. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we're just finding out what's happening in the background to make sure our stuff is good. So my play that read information. Uh, what's happening here? Well, it's giving me wrong value, so it doesn't know anything. So right now, it's not pulling our player information. Okay. So um, let's press F10 a couple of times. Again, it's not reading our information. Why? Because uh, it's probably a mistake with. I would say the code, but I'm pretty sure the code is fine. So I can only assume it's hack process that's doing something wrong. Um, yes, it must be that. It must be hack process that's not getting the results that we want. So I'm going to pause this for a second. I'm going to find out the problem and I will tell you the fix. Boom. 
Okay, guys. So the mistake that we made, or I made, uh, was a pretty, pretty, very, very simple one, and um, it was a bit of an amateur mistake. After testing on the game, I realized that the mistake was very small. Where is that? The mistake was very small, and it was basically this. Um, and, and I tried to shoot, and I couldn't shoot in game. And the reason for that was because uh, you, we need to disable this. So copy this bit of text here and put it there. So what we're doing is because um, we were setting it, we were shooting. Uh, well, what would happen is we would. Well, I guess the shot may have happened too quickly, but we would shoot. Um, I guess we would disable the shooting, but then we wouldn't re-enable it so that we could shoot again. And that was our problem. So uh, if we try it now, hopefully it should be okay. And that was the only difference that I found there. So if I just run this, let's do a normal server. And there's a hell of a lot of code around the place, Jesus. So I went, and, I went back and compared it to some other stuff. So hopefully that's fine. So let's start a new game here. I'm going to... Auto sign myself, gonna be terrorist somehow, and then cheats one, um, SV, uh, sorry, it's not SV, it's bot stop one, and that's that. Alright, so we're running the trigger bot, we've got some players here, so far so good, we aim at our enemies, no one shoots us, let's put, get some cool pistols, I like this one, this one's pretty cool. Bang bang. Alright, so we're moving up, let's move up to the enemies, see how that goes. Okay. So, hopefully that was the only mistake we made. Alright, here we go. Did you see that? Alright, so we're not shooting. Kill two guys in close to nothing. Boom. This weapon's actually pretty good. But yeah, kill two guys in close to no time. Okay. So we let them run around this time. or whatever. Well, I guess we'll let them run around in a minute. So basically, we found out that our hack works. If we move to the other team. Uh, come, terrorist forces. Blah, blah. Uh, people get kicked out. People get pulled back in. Good stuff. Let's go. Hopefully this still stops. So we aim at this guy. Turns out he's our friend now. We don't shoot at him. That's fine. We're aiming at those two. Going to buy that weapon again because it's cool. Um, so we're going to go up to the enemies. Let's see how it works. So here's me shooting by myself. I won't be shooting now. See, there you go. Boom. Dead straight away. Just go close to him, it'll shoot him straight away. See? Just moved it, scroll past him, and my accuracy wasn't great, apparently. But, yeah, that's it pretty much, guys. I think we've got it done, and it's... Uh, hopefully you enjoy this. I think the idea of a trigger bot is a very fun thing. I think it really works out nicely. Let's buy a weapon or so. Uh, the faster you can make it, like I said, if you can make it into a DLL, it'll be really fast in game uh, because it you know, obviously responds much quicker and you don't have to use right process memory. I think you can have a trigger bot that is absolutely beautiful if you do that. Uh, and it you know it kills enemies without them even having a chance most of the time. So, But again, I wouldn't vacuum this. Uh, I'm hoping to do some anti-cheat tutorials, but there'll still be a while for that, so I can't promise anything early on. I need to do all my... Um, you know, I need to learn everything myself, you know, and really get to grasps to what the best methods are of anti-cheat and all that kind of stuff. Our upcoming tutorial will be the uh, will be the uh, aimbot one. That's the next one, and there may be a couple more after that. I've got a few a few ideas of things that I haven't covered before that I want to cover, and I'll be using those. Um, what else is there? Thinking. Um, the full source will be available in the comments, not in the comments, in the uh, description. Okay, now that's bad recoil. Uh, yeah, so the full source will be available then. Um, what else? So just turn that off for a second so you guys can get an idea of how this works. But yeah, the full source will be available. Um, I wouldn't recommend using a uh, sniper for this because it's not that good. What else is there to say? Uh, yeah, there's the aimbot. There's a couple more tutorials, hopefully. Um, and um, doo -doo -doo -doo. yeah, so as usual, guys, if you want to release any hacks, I would highly recommend you check out Guided Hacking. And just if you do any hacks from this tutorial, do it there. I think uh, fully up to you. I really don't mind. But uh, it's a really friendly community, and if you guys want to do it, that I would really appreciate that. Um, if you like to leave a, a like, that would be really cool. Um, if you enjoyed it, of course. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I knew there was something else I wanted to mention. Ah, fuck. Ah, never mind. It doesn't matter. I'm sure I'll cover it at some other point. Um, hopefully, you guys will enjoy this. Uh, I really enjoyed making this thing. 
trigger bot because I hadn't covered the memory trigger bot before. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I really thank you for your support on the last on the last tutorial. You guys were just great, and you know I saw nothing but really nice comments from you guys. And um, I, know, I know there's always haters out there, but you know I don't really care. I made the tours because you guys are really great. And uh, you know anything that I can improve, I really appreciate when you guys tell me about it, as you know I find it really useful. Uh, and I have been trying to improve my tutorials all this time. And uh, yeah, I think we are done, guys. Thanks a lot for watching, and um, hopefully, I will kill this guy and see you guys very soon. Let's end this in style. Anything you guys want to release, I would really love to see it. Feel free to send me a link if you make a hack out of this tutorial. I, I tend to see those, and they're pretty cool. I like to learn from other people as well. Uh, thanks a lot for watching guys. I'll see you in the next tutorial.